not be where we want to be, but we are not where we used to be. We will never be ungrateful. Ah, just open your mouth and bless it. Jesus and 
Lord, we want to see you, Lord.
The medical system for you to stay. If you want to see clearly, if you want to understand better, it will be on your knees. On your knees, speaking to the most high God.
to this place again. This is the month of possibility. Yes. And I'm trusting God for everybody that is here today. It doesn't matter what you have been going through in life. The season of possibility has started for you in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder? Amen. Amen. Now we're going to take about two or three scriptures and then we're going to pray. I have believed God strongly for today because in the journey of destiny, a lot of things come and come away and it makes us to feel as if God has forgotten us. But I want to tell you, if you are steadfast, if you are hopeful and you are prayerful, the God that we serve is too faithful to fail. When you believe in Him and you trust in Him, it will shock you what God can do. Because when God decides to turn tides in your favor, people will not know how it happened. You yourself will not know how it happened. But one thing you just understand, you just wake up and you realize that everything has started to fall in place. And so I am trusting God for every soul that the hearing of my voice today. That it doesn't matter how hopeless it has been up to now. The God that we serve that cannot lie. That said, God, we are right for you in the name of Jesus. And we give you testimonies in the name of Jesus. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. So it's a month of possibility. And God help us in the next 15 minutes. I want to speak to us. Then we will pray. We will pray. We will pray. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. First Samuel chapter 17. First Samuel chapter 17. Verse 20. Positivity. Sorry. First Samuel chapter 17. First Samuel chapter 17. Hallelujah. First Samuel 17. And I'll read from verse 20. Seventeen from verse 20. Bible says, And David rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with the keeper and took and, and took and went as Jesse has commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going forth to the fight and shouted for the battle for Israel and Philistine and put battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted, saluted his brethren. And he talked with them. Behold, there came of the champion, the Philistine of God, Goliath by name, out of the hands of the Philistine, and spread according to the same the, according to the same word. And David had them, and all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled before him, and were so afraid. And the man of Israel said, Have you seen this man that is come up, surely to defy Israel is is he come, come up, and it shall be that the man who killed him, the king will enrich him with great riches and give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. That is, they won't pay tax again. And David spoke to the man that stood by him, saying, What shall be done? To the man that killed this Philistine and taken away the the, the, pro, the reproach from Israel, for who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after the manner, saying, "So shall it be done to the man that killed him." And Eliab, the eldest brother. Had when he spake unto the men 
and Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, Why comest thou down either? And with whom art thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thy heart. For thou art come down that thou mayest see the battle. And the last one, verse we want to say, we want to read in verse 29. It said, And David said, What have I now done? Is fear not a cause? And on this scripture, I want you to tell you the reason why you are in this place of prayers is because there is a cause. There's a cause for the reason. There's the reason why you are here. You understand? If everything is if everything is nice and dandy, you need to pray. If everything is still not nice and dandy, you still need to pray. David was sent by his father to go and check for the well-being of his brothers in the battle because there was a battle between the Philistines and the Israelites. And the scripture says, armies against armies, not men against men, not boys against men, boys. Armies against armies. That is the best from this side and the best from this side. Let us come together in a valley at a particular place and let us fight. This is a journey of destiny, beloved. This is a battleground. And when you are not ready to fight, there are a lot of things that will rob you of the plan and the purpose of God for your life. David said, I am going to go to the place. Then, as you know, the long and short of this story, he will eventually went to meet Goliath. Now, one thing I want you to know, that David came into the camp when everybody had already given up. Bible says, and Goliath will come, and when he comes, he will lambast them, abuse them, abuse their father, abuse their mother, abuse their God. Then he said, if you have anybody come, nobody shows up, the man goes back into the tent to go and sit down. Then he will come again. He was tormenting the Israelites day by day. I don't know who is at the hearing of my voice. Whatever that has been tormenting you, or is tormenting you day by day, month by month, year by year, today is the heaven in the name of Jesus. I said today marks the heaven in the name of Jesus. Beloved, but a day came that Goliath passed his boundary. He said the word when David was there. You could imagine if David was not in the camp. Maybe by the time he had just finished boasting and he had gone to the tent to sit down, then David appeared in the camp. Then he would have delivered what they told him to deliver. Then he would have left without seeing him the insult that Goliath was passing on the king of Israel, on the king of Israel and the God of Israel. But the enemy miscalculated. Yeah. Look at the person next to you. Say your enemy has miscalculated. Yeah. He miscalculated because he said it when David was there. And because he said it while David was there, the God of Israel backed David up. I tell you, sir, Amma, I don't know how many times they've been raging. I don't know who have been raging and speaking the word and using their hands to beat their chest and saying that we are the one that caused a shock. Nothing happens without hope. May they have committed the error because you surface in the sea and in the sea. Because concerning you, you are changing it. It is your faith, and it's going to be in your favor. In the name of Jesus. Number two, I've told us this is the story of David. He was a man that was positive. And he was able to pull down the Goliath. Number two. Scripture says in Numbers chapter 14, verse 6 to 9. Numbers chapter 14, 6 to 8. Numbers 14, 6 to 8. Numbers chapter 14, 6 to 8. 
and Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that sat at the land, rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the companies of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we pass through into Sati is, a, is an exceeding great land. If the Lord delighted in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us a land which flowed with milk and honey. Two tribes were sent to spy the land. Two came back with a positive result. I told us in the journey of destiny and when it has to do with God, majority doesn't carry the votes. They say, walk with God is majority. When God is on your side, let everybody be against you. You will still overcome. Why? Because you are with the one that you one that you are with is bigger and better than any other person. Mm -hmm. I will say it. And Caleb and Joshua said, We are able to possess the land. We saw the giants there. Fine. We saw the sons of Anak. Fine. We saw that the place was a fine city. Fine. But there's one thing that we saw there also that is positive. And that the land is flowing with milk and honey. The battle is worth fighting for when you know that something that will come out of it is going to be a good one. I tell people in the journey of life, you don't fight all battles. Some battles you run away. Where, where, where the pros and cons? What do I want to gain in this battle? If you realize that you have nothing to gain, walk away. There is no crime in walking away. I will tell you the peace of my mind. When you tell the peace of your mind to everybody, then you will stand in love. And the scripture says, Joshua and Caleb were the only one that saw the promised land. I don't know what you have seen. I don't know what you desire. But I am praying to God. In this place of prayers, everything that has weighed you down, that has said that things that are not add up again, as you remain positive in this month, things will work for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, I have one scripture, then we want to pray because we need to pray well today. First Samuel chapter 4. First Samuel chapter 4, verse 7. First Samuel chapter 4, verse 7 to 10. And the Philistines were afraid. Let me, let me tell you this story. At this point, Eli had been rejected, or Eli had started committing error. Ophini and Phineas had started committing error. And the children of Israel, a lot of things had gone wrong. Then there was this battle between the Philistines and the Israelites. And the Israelites, they were losing the battle. And they said, for us to so maybe we are losing the battle because we don't have the presence of God. And they said to Eli, said, Priest, sir, we need the Ark of Covenant at the battleground. Because we know with the Ark of Covenant at the battleground, that means the presence of God is with us. And Bible says, when the Ark entered into the camp of the children of Israel, they said, there was a loud shout. Everybody was happy. They said, now we are going to win this battle. And the Philistines, their enemies, heard this noise. And they said, what happened? They said, their God had appeared in their midst. We are done for. We are finished. We can't win this battle again. So that was what preceded. So let's read this verse 7. He said, and the Philistines were afraid. For they said, God is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there had not been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us from the hand of the, this mighty God. These are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Yeah. Now hear me, one captain among the Philistines said, a captain that is radical. 
A captain that is positive. A captain that is not mindful whether the person is a bishop or is a reverend father. A captain that is not ready to take a no for an answer. A captain that doesn't care whether there is this battles and this man, this woman have been winning battles all this while. But because I'm at this battleground, it's going to be blood for blood. A captain that said no. When it doesn't matter, let them shout where they are shouting. But as for me, I am not going to give up. Now, look at what he said. This captain told the Philistine. What did he say? He said, be strong and put yourself like men. Oh, you Philistine. That ye be not servant to the Hebrews as they have been to you. Quit yourself like men. Fight. Sometimes in our life we look at enemies that God has fought battles with and has won in the spiritual realm. But because we are still seeing them with the physical realm, we are afraid of them. They are just empty vessels. They don't carry the power again. The Philistines couldn't have won this battle. They couldn't have taken the Ark of Covenant. If the children of Israel, if they are still in life, doing the things that God said they should do. But because they have commit, they have committed a series of errors. So the Ark was just empty. The presence of God was not there. Nobody can kidnap God. Nobody can hold God hostage. But one thing is that this captain stood on his ground and said, it doesn't matter who this person is. It doesn't matter what has been going on. Say, but me as I am here, I am positive. I am going to win this battle. I am going to fight this person. It doesn't matter whether they subdue other gods. Those are other gods. This is me and I'm here to fight here. He said, be quick yourself. Fight like men. Don't just be doing as if you don't have bones. Fight like men. When you want to be positive in life, you need to fight. You need to fight, not the physical fight. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight on your knees. The worship that we sang, you can only see clearly. You can only win your battles when you are on your knees. You can't win your battles by, I know how to talk. I can defend myself. I can save my mind. You don't win battles of life like that. You win battles of life on your knees. Rise to your feet. The scripture says in, in Isaiah chapter 31 verse 3. Isaiah 31 verse 3. He said the Egyptians that we are seeing they are not God. Give me the scripture, Isaiah 31 verse 3. The Egyptians that you have seen, they are not God. What is terrorizing you, what is making you to be afraid? <laughs> it is not Isaiah 31. Is that Isaiah 31? Yeah. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And they are asses flesh and not spirit. They are not gods. Don't let anybody present themselves to you as your God. Don't let anything appear before you as if it cannot come down. There is no mountain that cannot come down. There is no valley that can't be filled up. There is no crooked that cannot be made straight. Play. There is no rock that cannot be... Because we serve a God that specializes in attending to the needs of his children. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, it is my season. My season of lifting, my season of lifting, my season of lifting, my season of enlightenment. Open your mouth and pray to God. My Father, my God, it is my season, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It is my season, in the name of Jesus. Lord, because of all you are here today, Lord, because you specialize in so long in meeting the needs of your children, Lord, it's my season, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you today, every strong man of failure, aside against your family, today, 
the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a loud heaven? I said the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus. To pray to God, I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I decree, every strong man assigned against my life, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to God. I declare today, every strong man assigned against me, against my life, against my living today. Lord, I pray, let them come down, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. I pray for somebody at the end of my voice today. Every strong man that is assigned against your family. I don't know where you are, you are today, but I speak under the mandate of grace in the name that is above every other name. The power of the strong man over your life is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder? Amen. Can I hear a louder heaven? Can I hear a louder heaven? Lift up your voice and say, Father, say, Father, destroy today. Destroy today every activity of the strong man concerning my life, concerning my children. In the name of Jesus, open your mind and pray to God. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy the activity of the enemy concerning my life in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy the activity, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy the activity, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. The captain, the head of the captain of the Philistines told the other people, they were afraid, but he told them, stand and fight. Stand and fight. I don't know who that word is for today. Stand and fight. Stand and fight. I don't know who that is for. Stand and fight. Fight for your life. Fight for your health. Fight for your business. Fight for your career. Whatever that is needed to be done in a godly way, do it. Fight. Fight for your children. Fight for your life. For that is the will of God for your life. Lift up your hands and say, Father, Father I receive power. Say, Father, I receive power. Say, Father, I receive power to fight in the battle of life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray to God. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I receive power to fight. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength. I receive boldness. In the name of Jesus, I receive power. I receive strength. In the name of Jesus, I receive power. I receive strength. In the name of Jesus, I receive power. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength. In the name of Jesus, I receive power. I receive strength. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Now hear me. The head of the Philistine army encourage the other armies rise up and fight. When you read Bible after them, they won the battle. They took the heart. But when there was another battle, they come, they came. They thought it's going to be like the other way. <laughs> and God showed up in his anger and dealt with them. I pray for somebody here today at the hearing of my voice. In a way that you don't even know how God will do it. The Lord will fight for you in the name of Jesus. I say the Lord will fight for you in the name of Jesus. I say the Lord will fight for you in the name of Jesus. You will pray as a father in the name of Jesus. Every assignment of a strong man concerning my children, concerning my life, concerning my career, scatter them today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to God, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus. I decree by the decree of heaven, every strong man, strong man, on assignment concerning my life. Lord, frustrate them. Make them important in the name of Jesus. Father, make them important in the name of Jesus. 
I pray for every one of us at the hearing of our voice today. It doesn't matter where they are. Lord, here yeah, they are joining us today. Lord, we pray, let your presence, let it meet them. Let the miracles happen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Let's have our say the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I know as we go forth in this prayer meeting, I know many of us we are here, we try to move forward, but at every point in time we are meeting roadblocks. Something will just happen. Today you are positive, tomorrow you are negative. You plan it well, but as you desire to move forward, you just see that wall there, that invincible wall, and it looks as if there's no way forward. Bow down your heads where you are right now. And the Spirit of God is here, the angels of God are here to do the miraculous. And I want you to just, as you bow your heads, close your eyes, and visualize God. Pulling down the walls. Spirit divine, angels of God will welcome you into this place. Go to every wall that is here, that is here today. That are meeting brick wall every time. They leave the place of prayer always believing that the wall has crumbled. A few days later, they just realize that the wall is still there. Lord, as they visualize it, that the world is crumbling now. Lord, we pray, let it come to pass. Lord, yes, angels of God go to every life that is here. People that are joining online, wherever, whatever is the entrance, whatever is the wall. Holy Spirit, go into everywhere. Angels of God go. Go into every house right now. Every house at the, at, that is where they are watching me from. People that are watching from the car. Lord, people that we are never they are. Angel of God, go meet them now. Crumble every wall. It wasn't the footstep of the children of Israel that brought down the wall of Jericho. It was the host of heaven. Host of heaven move into the life of these ones that are here. Let the wall come down. The wall of impossibility, the wall of barrenness, the wall of near success syndrome, the wall of disappointment at the edge of breakthroughs, the wall of loneliness, the wall of poverty, the wall of demonic oppression, the wall of affliction, the wall of aches and pains. The wall of, of, of lack, the wall of oppression. Angel of God, crumble this wall. Lord, crumble this wall. Every wall, every wall against every life that is here. Every wall standing between a man that is here and his desired place. Every wall standing between a woman that is here. At the desired vision. Lord, let this world crumble. Let the world crumble. We see the world crumbling. We see it. We see it. I can see. I can see the world crumbling. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yes, the angels of God are moving. Yeah, we fight God. Uh, yes, yes, we welcome you into this space. Into our maze, into our maze, into our can you get somebody on the keyboard? We can feel the presence of God is here. Male Kabayandaria. Father Bose Paharo stay here. Yes, they, 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 they are touching lives right now. They are touching lives. They are touching lives right now. They are touching lives. Healing is moving. Healing is happening now. Healing is happening now. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Somebody is joining us. Uh, and the, the, the left heart is about to give up. And it looks as if 
the heights will not see again. The touch of God is coming to us that place right now. The touch of God, God is healing the place, He's healing the heights now. Yes, Holy Spirit, we find. Can you just rise to your feet? Huh? Let's rise to our feet right now. Holy Spirit, we, yes, the angels are moving around now. They are going inside somebody's bowl. Inside the bowl is a problem in the bowl. Inside the bowl, healing is going on right now. Healing is going on right now. Lord, we thank you for healing. 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 Yes, yes, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for life that you are touching. Now, ah, Lord, we thank you. Now, God, God is going to somebody, somebody, somebody is joining me right now. God is going, the angels of God, they are going, they are going to that office right now. Whatever they put in your fire, whatever that they are bearing inside your fire that is meant to kill your career, the angels of God are removing it now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They are removing it now. They, are remo they said this is what they are going to use against it. They said this is a joker. This is what we Holy Spirit, we thank you. Yes, 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 we thank you. Thank you because you are moving. You are moving. You are moving. Yes, yes, we thank you. Yes, there's a woman here today. There's a gang that's that joining me. There's a gang call against you to render you powerless, to render you empty, to empty you. That is the plan. But God said he's in charge right now. He's starting their life. You said, he said you should hear very well. You will hear a news about them. They will come and confess. He said that is, that is the word of God. For somebody at the hearing the like that's here today, lift up your hands and just give a appreciate God. Father, we bless you, Lord of God, for life that you are touching, that Kaporo superior. But the of God, we thank you. Let's we thank you. Thank you for your presence here. Oh, my Katalia. Sotalia. Somebody is at the hearing of my voice today. You step on something. You don't seem to understand it. But once in a while, that death will pay you. And when it pays you, it pays you to your brain. And it looks as if there is nothing you can do again. They can see you are taking medication. It moves from your leg to your spine, to your brain. And then it looks, it looks, it looks excruciating pain. God said he's healing today. He said he's healing. He said he's healing. He said he's healing. There's a healing in the house right now. And the living Lord, healing is going on right now. Take your home, take your home, take your home, take your home. I take your home, take your home, take your home. Yes. I see, I see an angel, the angel coming in. And in the life of somebody, he brought something that looks like a bomb, but it, it's black. And it has it, it has vaporated all turned around. It's, and as he brought it out, he smashed it. Ah, my late Apollo Sutaria. Ah, Lord, later we thank you. We, 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 we thank you, we thank you. Yes, every life is taught today. Receive your home, receive your home, receive your home. It's Take doing some things. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening now. Miracles are happening now. I see I see the angel brought out a paper. I see a lot of things written on this paper. And the angel took the paper and tore the paper. I don't know the report. I don't know the record. I don't know what, whether it's a medical war or concerning your job. I don't know. But I saw the, the angel took the paper, shook his head, and tore it. <laughs> Beloved, something is happening in this place. Something is happening in this place. Something is happening in this place. Holy Spirit, and something is happening in this place. Something is happening in this place. Somebody is not here. The person is joining me. And I had God telling me, 
said for that person that the year, seven years of toiling and labor, he said because of this encounter, he said the harvest is starting now. I hear that one clearly. Seven years of toiling. It made me to understand that seven years ago they put your life on pause. They press the pause. You are just moving, but concerning the career is in stagnated. He said it has been on pause today. Because the name of God must be glorified. Go ahead and ask God for whatever you want God to do for you. I can see clearly now. I can hear. I can hear what God is saying here. I can hear it. Wherever the word of God is, there is power. Bible says he honored his Lord in the mouth of his servant and prophet. People that are joining me today, I see the angels coming into this place, carrying children in their hands. I see keys of values in the hands of people, the angels. Consists a lot of things. For God is so moved by multitude, I believe that there is a touch here today. Receive your own. Receive your own. Receive your own. All man will be a liar, Lord, to remain God. Show yourself strong in this place, in the life of your children here. We can see you. I see things happening now. I see it happening now. I see it happening now. I see it happening now. Tamayala Mosha. The Lord said there's somebody here. Some years ago, something got missing in your life. You searched for it, but you can't find it. The Lord said, I should tell you that whatever they use that word to do against your destiny, said today, said today, the power of that thing over your life is destroyed. Amen. There is somebody at the hearing of my voice today. You believe God for that your child, for settlement in life. At that age, but things are not adding up for that child. God said, I should tell you, that even in this today, that you will know that God is a living God. He said, from that on, concerning that child, everything is turning around in his favor. There's somebody here today Somebody snapped the finger at you and they said, we will deal with you. You didn't know that it's something serious. Though nothing had happened now, but there was a time, a prepared date that they have, they have said that they are going to afflict you. God said, don't worry. 
said he had gone ahead of you to that day. And he said that the victory is already yours. <laughs> I don't know whether you feel what I'm feeling here today. I can see, I can see the presence of the host of heaven. Angels that are working with this ministry, they are here today. Thank you. Yes. Lift up your hand. And say, touch me. Touch me. I need your talk. Against my life, 
I send them back for the sender in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, every hour of this time, fire the days, my Lord. I send them back to the sender in the name of Jesus. I send them back to the sender in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I send them back to the sender in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Lift up the voice and say, Father, say, Father, let my breakthrough.
has swallowed down riches, and he shall forbid them all again. God shall cast it out of his belly. I pray for somebody at the hearing of my voice. Whatever that belongs to you that the enemy has swallowed up. Your promotion that is swallowed up. Your fruitfulness that is swallowed up. Your career that is swallowed up. Your document that is swallowed up. Your manager status that is swallowed up. In the name that the moment the other day. They forbid them now in the name of Jesus. I said they are forbidden in the name of Jesus. I said they are forbidden in the name of Jesus. I said they are forbidden in the name of Jesus. You pray to God and say, Father, arise and defend my portion. Do you understand that prayer? Defend my portion. What you have said it is mine. These people are powerful. That they are stronger than me. Lord, arise, defend my portion in this land. Defend my portion in my family. Defend my portion in this country. Defend my portion wherever I am. Father, arise, hold on. Defend my portion. Defend. Let my ministry experience peace for our pastors here. 
let my job escape. I want peace on all sides. Solomon enjoyed peace on all sides. I want peace on all sides. But now, my Lord, I am positive. I am positive. I am positive. I am positive. From now, peace, peace like a river. Sunday this 
Father's Day. Hallelujah. Let the Father stand to their feet. It's not easy to be a father. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not easy to be a father. Amen. I will join our friends together. We pray for people that are joining us online and all the fathers that are present here. Lord, the wisdom that they need, everything that they need to be a good father, good husband, everything that they need to be a good man, excellent man, wise man, Father, the leads unto us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, oh Lord, the present for, for the Father's Day, the one that supersedes what a man can give. Father, give unto every man in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we know without our wives, we can't be man. Lord, we pray, bless our wives in Jesus' name. Bless our families. Lord, bless every family that has joined us on this, on this program. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Let's have our sin. God bless us. Uh, just prepare your offerings. Our time is fast spent. If you have faith, done your